from Quezon City, also at forward, number 18, Ralph Koo. And at center from Mangono Rizal, number 34, Christian Sanhardiger. Also at forward from Cagayan Valley, number 18, Troy Rosario. And from Orani Bataan, at center, number 8, Bradwin Quinto. All unit for coach Jeffrey Carriasso. Tip-off is brought to you by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA. Mm -hmm. So let's see uh, who gets the upper hand. Oh, and another turnover here for Barangay Ginebra. That's back-to-back -to, -back to open this game. As Rey Suerte issues a bounce pass. Troy Rosario starts off on a good note. He needs to be a very consistent player here because a lot of the guys surrounding him are really complementary players. Stan Hardinger gets the first basket as Ralph Koo will launch from downtown. Won't get it, and there is what Scotty Thompson does best. That, those are the things that they missed the most from Scotty. I don't know if there's any other point guard who can do that uh, on a consistent basis. Thompson announcing his return to the fold for Barangay Ginebra with a offensive rebound and a putback. Ray Suerte, the soft touch he has been in a good groove here in the Philippine Cup. Good shape, yeah. but I'm sure he's going to get tired soon because uh, he has not played in a long time. Good shape is still different from game shape, and as uh, these players will often tell you, Ahan Misi gets the lead for Barangay Ginebra. Nambata with a nice pass, locating Quinto, starting to the basket. And this is what Ray Nambata has given this Blackwater bossing team. Yeah. They have a, a consistent point of attack yeah. player in Ray Nambata who can run that pick and roll well as well. Also a good pass from Scotty Thompson as Stan Hardinger gets an end one. I think by starting Christian and without Japet, they want to establish him in the low block yeah. and then surround him with that. He, he's become a, a sort of a barometer here for Barangay Ginebra. When he plays well, Ginebra is almost unbeatable. Good block there on the help defense as Scotty is pushing for Ginebra. Hand off, Malonzo, three-point shot. We were just talking about him and he connects from deep. Two early assists for Reynam Batak. As Ahan Misi breaks free for the layup. You know, with Scotty Thompson there, you relieve Ahan Misi, even Pringle with the point guard duties. They can focus all their efforts in Absolutely. attacking. I mean, for a while, Ahan Misi was producing Scotty Thompson like numbers. Yeah. He doesn't need to do that anymore. Ginebra, uh, Scotty receives this. Long pass from Christian Stan Hardinger. Four points, two boards, two dimes. How many minutes will Coach Tim Cohn play him? Because we all know Scotty plays <laughs> at the 40s. <laughs> uh, well, he has six so far to start this ball game as Malonzo attacks inside, adding to the troubles. Ralph Koo on the attack, pulls it back. No need to rush as they deliver the ball to Scotty. Quickly inside now. Christian with position inside, and he just scores, bulldozing the defense of the Bill. Today sets it up for Suerte, fakes Ray with another fake, and he's able to just put up a shot and bend something to just avoid the defense of Thompson. He's such a crafty uh, scholar, uh, Ray Suerte. Former Gilas Filipinas player. Lasco almost turning the ball over. Malonzo on the turnaround. <laughs> Big defensive problems here early in the ball game. Uh, Troy Rosario, unfortunately, will not be able to sink that, but yeah. he <laughs> <laughs> the U, as a headache for the FU Tamaraus. No, but he was he was good in yep. that one year with UE. Yeah, absolutely. As Christian Stan Hardinger <laughs> is proving to be unstoppable inside. Playmakers surrounding him. He, he's getting quality looks now. He doesn't have to. Cool. Good battle inside between Chu and Stan Hardinger. Christian outsmarts his defender. As he sets it up to LA, Tenorio dumps it inside. Double team already waiting. Actually, zone defense employed by Blackwater. Three-point shot, no good for Malonzo. And they've adjusted to that zone to stop Stan Hardinger. Justin Chua takes the three, dribbles in closer. The floater is good. To handle the ball handling uh, and the playmaking duties. 
Maybe we're being overly dramatic and overestimating the value of, of Scotty Thompson, but and more often than not, they will be leading the league in, yes. in assist totals. Zapet, the jumper is good. As they find themselves on the opposite sides here in this game. Stan Hardinger, what a dish, but great recovery defensively for the Blackwater Bossy. RK Lagan joins Justin Chua. Different Popia, Kwekute, and Tonka. That is a make and one for Justin Chua. For a challenge, and I could lip read from here. Coach Tim Cohn said too early. Too early. Yep. He expressed that when he and Coach Jeff talked, Coach Jeff laid out his expectations from Justin, and it included wanting to see his leadership shine through more than anything. Even with the 15 to 20 minute restriction, Justin is still hoping. The UAP five-time UAP champion did not lose in his entire collegiate career. And, and you do not forget things like that. You take it to the PBA, you take it to wherever you go. Yeah. Oh, another steal here for JD. As he will go to the other side. Chua there for the cleanup. Oh, drastically changes for Blackwater when Reynam Batak is not on the floor. It seems the quality of their shots is higher when he's leading the offense. As James Quekete takes matters into his own hands with the layup. Pringle shooting over the defense of RK. That's an easy shot for Stan the man. Nambatak wants the Stan Hardinger ball screen. The jumper for Ray is a switch. Attacks baseline, had to put up a shot, misses. Scott, he is there, the rebound, sets up on Misi. Layup is gone with a foul. To score, yeah. But he's getting a lot of points for his team by doing little yeah. things. To Ralph Poon, now to Thompson. Still a lot of time remaining in their shot, now. Scott, kicks it out to Christian. Stan Hardinger, the runner, gets the angle. You can get that with years yep. of playing together. It's reps. It's chemistry as Hill delivers the basketball to Justin Chua, who converts to the jumper. Letting him never do what they want to do in terms of their offense, and that needs to change as soon as possible. Second, there were conversations about Blackwater's second chance points being zero. Coach Mike mentioned wanting to see not just one or two, but all five really fighting to secure those rebounds. Lastly, it's just keeping, just to keep playing and to not worry about the calls and to just dictate the ball game in the second half. Back to you guys. Thank you for that report. Let's see if they could indeed do some of those things. But they will have to find a way to slow down the offense of Barangay Ginebra. Biggest lead of the ball game now at 21 for Barangay Ginebra. That has been the problem. The high shooting percentage of Barangay Ginebra and then the fouls being committed, committed by the Black Wolf. They'll go back to that post up. Ball is poked from behind, recovered by Nambata. Nambata with a jump shot, it's good. Fortunately, they have a missing link in offense in Ray Suerte, who has been uh, pretty much quiet in the second quarter. Ralph Ku hits a three-point shot. JD trying to escape the defense of Ralph Ku. Step back jumper, no. Scotty skies for the board. Forward pass, Ralph Ku another three. That's good again. We'll have to trust the, the offense a little bit more. As Ralph Ku is open once again, that is three straight triples for Ralph Ku. I remember it also. 70 to 46 is the count as Ralph Ku letting it fly. Coach Jeffrey Carriasso frustrated that his guards did not follow the defense that they were calling. And now this is the biggest thing. Kicks it out to LA. Six seconds remaining on the shot now. Wow. What a tight pass! Coming from Tenorio, the end one for Stan Hardinger. Just a terrific timing on those cuts and nice pass Clifford Hopia A little too strong, he saves it to Casho. Three-point shot is a miss, but they will get the ball back. Tungkab launches quickly, finally it falls. 24-point advantage, they kick it out to Malonso. Tenorio has it now. LA using the brush screen, Ralph Ku another three, why oh. not? He knew it was in the moment it left his hands, Ralph Ku, what, what another great quarter for him. Four triples for Ralph Ku, 14 points in the game, 
As Pecote will launch, counter three-point shot is good. Gives the ball up to Tenorio. Now asking for a ball screen from Japet. LA, down low to Christian, finds the angle and connects again, 31 points. And we're just in the third quarter. And that's what you meant earlier, Garlo, the point guards finding him. Christian Stan Hardinger going to spots where he can be spotted by LA or Scotty. JV with a quick pass to Hill down low. Tecote launches another three and makes another one. Tecumal now going to Pringle. Shot lock is at 10 for Barangay Ginebra. Stand the man using the Japet screen. That pass stolen. And Escoto is ahead. Escoto. 87 to 66. Coach Jeff Caviasso has done a great job with this team starting 3 0. Although they lost three straight. They're competing with the best teams in, in the league, including uh, San Miguel Beer. And, and that makes the loss to rain or shine all that tougher, right? Because you shouldn't be in the situation where you could go down three and four. If they won that ball game, maybe they'd have uh, some confidence heading to this match against Barangay Nebra. As Justin Chua is fouled by Onwubere. Behind them, Terra Firma also right there. So the middle is still wide open. While uh, San Miguel looks like they will be claiming one of the top two spots, maybe the second the spot could still be a bit of a goal for Barangay Ginebra. That's correct, is it? You have teams like the, con the usual contenders. Magnolia has two losses mm -hmm. already. TNT is three and three. So you're right. We, it remains to be seen if Endex can be consistent. Yep. All confidence long, but Dave's Wally, what about that guy? He's having a fantastic conference. And he is our leading best player of the conference candidate. And how could you deny those numbers and the wins as well for Robert Mollick and then back? Good pass coming from JV Castro as Tyrus Hill. Ringo now being given the baseline. Double team is right there on Wubere. Big attack. Poor shot is good for Sydney. And they've taken their frustrations out on this Blackwater squad. The, the schedule is, is a bit tough for, for the Blackwater bossing because they have they have a match again. We also celebrated the 49th birthday, right? Of, of the PBA. Lots of fans showing up at the Ninoy Aquino Stadium to join us in that double header. And uh hope to take this opportunity to really thank the people behind the scenes, right? The the ones who let those 100 people in, the ones who check the, the, the the necessary requirements to be able to enjoy PBA action. This tremendous work by the PBA family. For a special shout out to our uh, friend from the PBA Media Group, Mitch Flores, watching right now. As uh, Richard Escoto connects with a triple. Well, they started out strong with Christian Stan Hardinger. They were able to establish the inside game. And then in the third quarter, it was a three point shooting of Ralph Kuh that extended this lead of uh, Barangay Neva. So Barangay Neva doing a great job. And when you are in a losing streak, yeah. it becomes a confidence issue here yep. for uh, for Blackwater. And that's something that they need to overcome. Again, next three games for Blackwater are tough. Magnolia, North Fort, and San Miguel Beer. They close out their elimination round campaign against the Phoenix Rule Masters on May 4. And much more now because of the support that he has. I don't know if you can say that CJ Perez is support. Yep. But, the, but the, that combination, and then you have Jericho Cruz, Terras Romeo, it goes on and on and on. That's a good credit to the Terra Firma G. Exactly. Barangay Hinebra, another team that uh, got a little close to they went beating, to yep, beating San Miguel Beer. After falling behind. Uh, early in that game, they had the run in the fourth quarter and okay. almost stole that game. And then you can allow yourself to ask the question, what would have happened if Scotty Thompson was there? Yes. Well, 90 seconds remaining here in this ball game. Just domination coming from Barangay Ginebra. And this is how you want your team to respond, right? It was a lackluster effort versus Terra Firma. Coach Tim Cohn was visibly frustrated with how his Squad responded to him. Maybe five can get you a, yep. a, a, a playoff, a maybe. Playoff. Yeah. Hey. 
It was passed down low as Nora Gumaro scores inside. Only a task to be completed will be to name our best player. Will it be Christian Stan Hardinger or Ralph Cooper, Barangay Ginebra? I would put my bets on Ralph Cooper. <laughs> <laughs>